Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Rakesha, and welcome back to day three of my back to school series. In the last episode, we talked about everything you need to know before university, and if you missed it, don't panic, because you can click the link to see it right here, and the link will be down in the description bar. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and click that red button to subscribe if you haven't already. So, I remember when I was starting freshman year, I had absolutely no idea what to bring. There was a lot of things that I brought to university that were definitely not needed, and stuff that I wish I did bring. So, I'm going to give you guys a list of everything that you need to bring. So, number one, of course, is an agenda. Like, come on, girls, guys, you need an agenda. That's going to keep you on track, but I made a video completely on agenda, so go ahead and click the link right here to see it, and the link will also be down in the description bar. Um, number two, I want you to bring two of everything. When I say two of everything, I mean towels, bedding, pillows, two of everything because let me tell you right now, you're not going to really be doing laundry that much. When I was in the dorm, our laundry was in the basement and we were on the fifth floor and honestly, to bring that down, it was not going to happen. I remember I packed all my laundry in my suitcase and brought it home whenever I went home. Bring two of everything so that you don't have, you can alternate when you do laundry. Bring command hooks. You're not allowed to nail things in the wall, of course. You're not allowed, if you tape things to the wall sometimes, it depends on what kind of walls you have, it could rip off like the tape that's there. So definitely bring command hooks to hook the things that you need. Flip flops or slippers, because two words, communal bathrooms, you do not want foot fungus. A stapler and paper clips are definitely essential. Medical things, when I mean medical things, I mean like aspirin or Tylenol or allergy pills, stuff like that. You don't need to bring like a whole bunk of things because there is a medical center on campus. But remember, you're not going to be at home, so you can't just ask your mom to give you some cough medicine. Business attire or party attire. I know that on my campus we had like a prom, we had a couple parties and stuff that were on campus that were formal. And also for business days when you have when you have to do an interview or something like that, definitely bring something that, something that is formal attire. Tape. That's definitely, I remember we hang, we hung a lot of posters with tape, so like duct tape or something, and even like those plastic pull-up drawers or those like um, Alex drawers from Ikea, definitely you need tape to tape them down to make sure that when you're moving it doesn't like move or anything. A laundry basket, that goes without saying, and honey, do not leave it in the laundry room, people will take it. An umbrella and rain gear, I remember I did not bring rain boots, and honestly it was the worst decision of my life, remember to bring rain gear because you're gonna be walking from class to class outside and and it's gonna be raining a lot because I don't know why but when you're on university the campus just always rains and you need to get something to keep you dry silverware I, th I think I mentioned this before but where I live we didn't have like a stove or anything but I did make my own breakfast in the morning so definitely have like one plate one cup one fork one knife those kind of things so that you have something to make your own food with if you need to you don't have to get a water filter but I definitely suggest getting a kettle because you can make your own clean water that way just put it under the tap in the, in the bathroom and then get some water there and then and boil it, put it in a couple water bottles, and put them in the fridge. With that being said, definitely there are mini fridges that you can get on campus and you can um, rent, and I definitely suggest doing that. You don't have to buy your own fridge. You can go and rent it, and then at the end of the year, you give it back. Cleaning supplies like an air freshener or a dustpan. Vacuums are typically provided on campus, so you don't really need to bring one, but I remember I brought a dustpan, and it was really helpful for those little mess-ups that like little crumbs up on the ground that I need to pick up. I remember in my dorm, we had windows that did not open, which was really annoying, so one one person got sick the whole entire like floor got sick so we had our own system where like we had like the doors and in our rooms we would open them and close them and like we'd make a line of like air that flowed throughout the the common area into the outside the door like you guys know what I'm talking about I did a dorm tour like the first year of campus which you can click right here to see the shower caddy is definitely essential because when you're going to the shower you don't want to leave all your stuff there especially if it's community bathrooms we had community bathrooms but not for girls we had dorms like I told you guys before um, but definitely keep something like that to bring with you regardless if you have a communal bathroom or not It just keeps all your stuff together and organized the one that I got I think was from either Walmart or Costco It was like six dollars or something but You don't want to bring a robe for me Especially because a lot of my roommates have like guys come over and stuff and I didn't want to walk around my towel It was just really weird so I put on my robe and I would have that until I get to my room Cubbies and hanging boxing closets. I talked about this in one of my videos before it was like one of those hanging um, um, drawer, not drawers, but hanging cubby thingies for like shoes that I got at Ikea. Plastic bins and boxes. When you're coming to dorm, you're going to want to pack all of your food and all that kind of stuff in these plastic bins. And it's going to be really helpful as well because you're going to be able to have, you're going to have like little props and little desks and stuff. So you can put stuff on and have them high up. You can keep a lot of stuff in the bins. A lot of your cleaning supplies, you can keep them, store them in those bins. So definitely they're 
very practical for moving and also for living on campus. A quick tip is only to pack seasonal clothing. You can be there for eight months and that is what three different seasons that you're gonna be there for. Definitely bring in intervals because you won't have space to carry all of your clothes. A desk light. I remember the light that we had was not really that bright that was on my desk. It wasn't that bright at all so I would also, it was really helpful for one, doing my makeup and two, for actually studying. Extension cords and power bars. Unfortunately, for some reason, whoever designed the layout of the dorm did not put the outlets where they needed to be and there weren't enough outlets in general. So you're gonna need like a power bar or an extension cord to plug in everything that you need. Earplugs and ear shades. Now, another thing that is really essential is to have a delicate mesh kind of thing and you get these at like Walmart for like a couple of bucks or something these little white mesh like squares that you can put like your socks and your underwear in because honey that dryer eats socks honestly I swear now the next thing I didn't actually have but my roommates had it was a drying rack and I remember I washed I hand washed a lot of my clothes because I didn't really want to do laundry too often but I hand washed a lot of my clothes and it was really nice to have a drying rack to put your stuff on a big tip is to bring a real backpack I know in high school a lot of girls wore like the little bags or whatever and they put like their little, two little pencils in it and a notebook or whatever but definitely you're going to want a backpack. You're going to be bringing your textbook all around campus with you, lugging a laptop with you. You're going to want to have a secure backpack. But yeah, those are the things, some of the things that you're going to need when you go to university. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you beautiful, lovely people in my next video. Bye!